Victor Levine, the red corner. Out of the blue corner, from the Knoxville franchise, Roy L. Jones, the blue corner. Your referee from Kansas City, Jerry Morales. Round one begins at the three round bout, two minute round. And these are both very, very aggressive fighters, so we would expect both men to, to not take many steps backwards in this fight. Roy Jones in the orange trunks. Victor Levine in the black trunks with the white shoes. They both have good left hooks. They both can work on the inside to the body and the head. And I'll tell you, in his fight, Roy Jones in his semifinal beat Derek Roland, a young man we saw at the sports festival last year, a very fine fighter from New Jersey, and it was a war. And I think a bit of an upset on many people's minds that Jones won it. At one point, Roland was sent through the ropes in that semifinal bout. Again, Jones says he'll do whatever it takes. He can adapt to his opponent with one minute left in the first round of the 139-pound championship. You can see right away here, they are both willing to mix it up. The right hand of Victor Levine was dislocated last year. He had to miss a year, and he says it's still tender. Do you think that'll affect him tonight? Well, as you get to the end of these tournaments, it starts to hurt you. That was why Sugar Ray Leonard, when he got in the amateur fighting, said it was so much easier as a pro. He could rest for three months. We didn't fight four fights at a time. Levine is going to the body very well. Good combination there a moment ago. Under half a minute to go in the first round. We're going to pay a visit to the corner of Victor Levine when this round ends. Get all the inside information and the strategy. Good countering by Levine. He, he said he thought his hand speed would be the difference in this fight. So far, it has been. Levine in the black trunks and the white Time. shoes. Come on, get the hell out! Get him out of here! Danny Elmans are to the ring, please. Danny Elmans are. You're back in here now. You're kicking his ass. Don't let him come to you, okay? Double your jab up there. Double your jab up. Throw the right hand out behind you, okay? Got to stay a little bit here, baby, okay? I'm not jabbing quite enough. Pick your jab up. Double your jab up. Put the right hand out behind you. In the last round, although I don't think it was a great round for Roy Jones, he did show this power with the right hand against Levine, one of his, really, one of his few good moments in that first round, but uh, it shows he's got the wherewithal to get to Levine. Jones is 17 years old. He's been boxing since he was 13. He's an inch taller than Levine at 5'10". It's his first National Golden Gloves tournament. In contrast to Levine, who won it in 84, also won the U.S. Amateurs in 84. And some of that experience is showing, I think, tonight. Right hand by Jones again. One of the things Levine has done well is use the jab, and that's one thing I think Roy Jones needs to, and there is the jab by Levine. Well, Levine had a good jab, good combinations in his semis. Minute and a half to go in the second round. He's a tireless fighter. Sometimes it works this way. You know, Roy Jones, with the upset over Derek Roland in the semifinals, may have peaked in that fight. This is for everything. A 139-pound class. Tell hey, you what, Jones is landing a lot of body shots and then going up there. And there he landed a good straight right hand. He's a, he's a, tough, a tough young man. And this is really similar now to the way the Roland fight went in the sense that he did come back. Push it down. Coming down to 30 seconds to go in round two. It's been a good round, too. 
for both fighters, really. Levine counter punching. At the end of this round, we're going to go to Roy Jones' corner. Okay, Roy Jones discovered his right hand here in the second round. Both fighters scoring in that last exchange. And round two is now history. One to go. Here's how they're going to prepare Jones for this final round. Beautiful, baby. You got to put him down a little bit more, baby. Plenty of water. Plenty of water. Put him down a little bit more, baby. Huh? Going out his back with one of them now. Come on, wait it again. We ready again. All right. Still beautiful, baby. All you got to do is keep the jabs up. You got to get your hands. Your hands speak up a little bit more. All right. And we will see in the last round, Roy Jones setting up the right hand with that left jab and uh, that's something he didn't always do earlier in that first round but the second round he discovered it well, come on now you got to keep that jab going you got to get in time baby go three punches nothing less than three baby that's what i want here we go last round you want it get it sure get it well is levine going to be able to last round coming back fire at least three punches at his opponent well, he's shown the ability to counter punch. Fight! So we'll see. Victor Levine in the black trunks, white shoes. Roy Jones in the orange trunks. Some good lefts. By Levine, and both of them saying good body punches. A good left, and that may have hurt Levine. Right. Or did he slip? That could be called a knockout. It wasn't. He, it could have been a knockout. Jones ducks under a Levine shot. Levine working on the body. He's got Jones against the rope. And Roy Jones... Coming on here in the third, he may be younger, he may not have the experience of Levine, but boy, he is showing us just as he did against Derek Roland. He does not quit. A minute to go in the fight. Levine getting off a couple of good rights and scoring now with right combinations. That last flurry may have taken a little bit of steam out of Jones. Oh, on the inside, both these fighters effective, and Levine landing three and four punch combinations. Oh, Roy Jones is tough. Hey, he up a bit. Jones continues to burrow in with half a minute to go. Levine leading with the jab, but really couldn't set up anything with his right. About 15 seconds left in this fight for the 139-pound title. Some good body combinations by Levine. In the closing seconds of this round. And a good, strong wow. finish to a good, strong fight throughout these entire three rounds. Well, this may have been the quintessential Golden Gloves battle. Really, two fighters, uh, Victor Levine and Roy Jones, battling throughout this fight. And uh, this is one that's tough to call because both fighters had their moments. Jones with that good third round, and I thought in the second round, Levine, very, very strong landing, lots of combinations, a tough one to score. Yes, and Jones also shows that he could take a punch because despite a flurry of combinations thrown by Levine, Jones continued the official results of the fight. At 139 pounds from the blue corner, Roy L. Jones, Knoxville. So the teenager from the Knoxville Club wins the 139-pound Golden Gloves Championship, Roy L. Jones over Victor Levine.